Hey guys and welcome to the tech side. Today we're going to be talking about if you should upgrade to the iOS 11 beta or not. I've been using the iOS 11 beta for a few days now and it's a beta. Um, there's a lot of cool features to iOS 11, uh, most of all the bottom dock going up and you have all your toggles, especially the low power mode toggle is really nice having that there. The screen recording is really cool, but it's not really necessary. And there's really no other features that are really that important to your everyday life, or at least to my everyday life. Just like any other beta, there's a lot of annoying bugs, just like the one on the lock screen that you guys see here. If I can pull that down, just the music one. Um, there's a lot of more annoying things like opening up apps and then them crashing a little bit after you use them apps loading really slowly, just things like that that make it a terrible experience for everyday use. The most annoying thing I've found with iOS 11 is that when you try to respond to a message, you have to unlock the phone first. So see, I just messaged myself and it won't let me open up this text or respond. To respond to a message first, you have to unlock the phone and then go to the lock screen to see it and then you can respond. Another complaint I have with iOS 11 is this bottom bar having no labels right here because I think it makes it imbalanced from the top to the bottom having the bottom with no labels and the top with labels. I think it just makes an imbalance of everything and it looks kind of strange. The last problem and the biggest problem with iOS 11 is the battery life. The battery life is terrible on iOS 11 and that's kind of to be expected with any beta and battery life is just going to be an issue with the beta no matter what. But that does pose a big question whether or not to upgrade. So we've went over most of the cons of upgrading to iOS 11, now let's go over the pros. Honestly the best thing about the iOS 11 beta is the fact that you can slide up the control center and have any control you really want there. Especially low power mode for people with older iPhones, like I'm running an iPhone 6 so I use low power mode a lot. And having that toggle down there is really helpful. One of the best pros of iOS 11 is for the older phones who don't have 3D touch. Apple's actually integrated some 3D touch elements into the older phone's OS for iOS 11. So my phone is an iPhone 6, so it does not have 3D touch, but if I scroll up on the control center and I hold down the flashlight, I get a bunch of different flashlight options that I wouldn't get in iOS 10. But if I was on a 6S on iOS 10, I could just 3D touch and I could get that flashlight options too. But I can't. Now I can on iOS 11, even though I have an iPhone 6 that doesn't have 3D touch. Another pro of iOS 11 that I really like is the music in the lock screen. So I'm going to play this song real quick and I'm going to open up the lock screen and you can see it's playing right here and not taking up the whole screen which is really nice especially if you want to look at your notifications easier or respond to text while you're listening to music. So one of the things I love about iOS 11 is how fast it unlocks the lock screen from the Touch ID. Especially with the phones like the iPhone 6 I have here that has the first gen Touch ID is not quite as fast as the 6S or 7. So watch how fast this opens. That's way faster than iOS 10 ever was and just the animation opening up makes your phone feel way faster. Honestly I don't know how I really feel about the new App Store, I know it got a lot of hype but I don't really like that you don't have a top charts anymore until you scroll down because the top charts is always what I wanted to look at when I downloaded an app. Yet you have to go into the app store, go to apps and then scroll down to find the top charts of apps now. Another thing I really love about iOS 11 is the animation when opening apps. So when you open up the app store, just look at this animation. That's really cool. And I mean, it, obviously it happens for all the other apps, but it's way cooler than anything we've seen in previous iOS's and I think it looks really smooth and even closing like you just saw. So here's the big question. Should you upgrade to iOS 11 right now on the first beta? I really don't think so unless it's on an older phone that you have that you're not using as your main phone. Honestly, I'm going to downgrade back to iOS 10 because I can't really deal with the battery life on iOS 11 and use it for every day. Plus the bugs and the glitches are really annoying right now when trying to do everyday tasks. But you guys may have a completely different experience than me, especially if you're on a newer phone. So keep that in mind that I am on an older phone anyways and may have the problems because I'm on an older phone. And maybe if you're on a newer phone like the iPhone 7, it may be a lot better for you and you might want to upgrade. 
But that's just been my personal experience with iOS 11 and just showing you guys a little bit of what I like about it and what I don't and maybe if you should upgrade or not. If you do want to upgrade to iOS 11 right now, do check the description or my channel. I have a video showing you exactly how to do it because it is in the developer beta right now, which means you normally would have to have a developer account to download it. But I figured out a way how to do it without a developer account. So if you guys just look at my channel and look at the description, you'll find that video on exactly how to do it. I also made a video on how to downgrade from iOS 11 to iOS 10 if you guys really have an issue like I do with iOS 11. If you guys had a rough experience with iOS 11 like I did and want to downgrade back to iOS 10, I also made a video on how to do that down in the description. You can do it without losing any of your data and it's all good. I hope that helped you guys out in deciding if you want to upgrade to iOS 11 or not. If it did, definitely give me a comment below telling me or if you have any questions, definitely let me know and I respond to all your guys' questions so that's no issue and definitely give me a like as well. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you later.